Hello, my warriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. It is time that we're gonna continue our series. However, we have four days until the next financial report, and we have to gather, what, 600,000 sea bills? Good news for us is that we have some mechs to build, and that might be a bit contradictory because we have to invest more money, but that also means that we can finally get rid of the Banshee because we have a Proteus here, which can do the job just better, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, goodbye, Banshee. We're gonna send you to cold storage, which will strip the mech completely. Don't worry. We we will keep the equipment in the mech and uh, I'm not gonna go to the store and be gonna get just rid of that thing. And it's not even that valuable. Oh my god. I was wondering if we could actually get the remaining money that we need. Uh, I mean, it's a quick sell item. Oh, by the way, for all of you guys who wondered, uh, we lost the Nidhogg, we lost the Mortar Carrier in the last episode. So, yeah, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, what are we gonna do now? That's a good question. I would say we're gonna take a look at our valuables, like right here, and see if there's anything that we can um, that we can get rid of right away. Like those battle fists. Will we ever use battle fists again? I won't think so. So we're gonna drop them. We have a bunch of battle computers, but they are not really that valuable anymore. I should actually probably just go for uh, like engines and stuff. Two two. Two 10-ton battle combat shields. We're gonna sell one of them. Sure, why not? The command console is probably also not ever gonna fit in my in my bills. Not really. Compact life support quick sell. Goodbye. We don't need you. Three composite structure. Mm. I mean, they're pretty good. I probably can get rid of one of them. I mean, we have already enough money, which means I should stop uh, selling here. All right. So, that being said, let's go ahead and build something, because we now have no Mortar Mech anymore, but I want to have a Mortar Mech. So we're gonna take a look at the Proteus here. That thing is absolutely fantastic in order to, you know, run that build, because um, it has a lot of weight to work with. It has definitely more pod space, more tonnage left over than the Banshee had. And the thing, it's it's kind of limited to this engine core, since it's an Omni Mech. We cannot change it, we cannot change Endo Composite, we cannot change Case Light Ferro, which means we cannot give it more speed or more weight. This is all the stuff that we have here. However, we have unlimited amount of hard points, which means I'm gonna use the Mortars now. Let's go for it, guys. I think I'm gonna go for all of them. Like, like all the mortars that I have, and then ammo, that's it. I'm not even kidding you. That is the build. Nothing else, nothing more. Four mortars, and then, um, you know, uh, just a good chunk of cooling, which we already have. Do we even need that proto-double heatsink? I don't know. Hmm, interesting. That means we might want to change the build a little bit, since uh, we are currently horribly overcooling. And don't get me wrong, guys, four mortars is good. This is five. Hmm. I can take three mortars for long-range multi-targeting for the uh, mines, and then I could take the broadside for more damage, because that thing is the same weight as a regular mortar, has lower range though, it has a maximum of 690, those have a maximum of about 840, but those shoot 8 shells, this here shoots 10, which means it's better for raw damage. Let me take a look at ammo. Maybe that's how we're gonna do it here. Also put the broadside in here. Our arms are not doing anything, and we don't have lower arm actuators currently, so therefore... There's no way to do it. Let's see. We have fast cam acid. Let's take two bins of it. That should be enough, right? Four mines per projectile. How many shots? 40 shots. So... I could shoot about two and a half times with what I have here. Interesting. Uh, we have guided ammo and quite a lot of it. I want it. I definitely need two bins of Inferno. And... That's kind of it, right? Alright, we have acid, one half ton of acid ammo, but only a half ton. And I do believe we had air burst as well. Did we not? No, air burst was on the carrier. So this is what we have here. We definitely need to find more acid ammo. And then this mech is gonna go crazy. Absolutely insane. Maybe this is how we play it right now. I'm thinking. Maybe we leave the broadside out of this and add actual energy weapons so we can deal raw damage in front of us when we need to. Okay, this is how we do it, yeah. Is two tons enough, or is two tons even too much now? Maybe I'm going too crazy on ammo. That could be it. Could not be it. I think this is how we play it. Alright, so with the remaining, with the remaining tonnage, we will definitely add something like an ECM. Let's put a Guardian ECM here, why not? We have sensors. Do we need sensors on- I don't think we need sensors on this guy, not at all. The funny thing is we have two specialist slots open. We definitely don't need advanced optics. We definitely don't need an exchanger in the build right now. However, if we put some lightweight weapons on the mech, something like just a barrage of ER mediums, why not that? 
Let's take four ER mediums here. You can see the build is really falling behind in energy efficiency. So with that, I think an exchanger is definitely due. And we can probably put, 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 put some proto heat sinks in this. Let's go. Let's put like two of them in here. I put them in the center. Why not? All right. So that's okay. We still have some leftover weight. By the way, uh, fire control system and all of that we will take care of in a second. As I was saying, we don't have any lower arm... Uh, actuators that we can slap on that Omni Mac, but I, I guess we have to use just uh, those medium lasers as some backup weapons. I actually want more of them. Is that possible? Ear medium magna. Why not? Can I get six? Six would be, I think, a good, um, you know, a good sweet spot. We only have ER larges. That's not great. Hmm. PPCs. I could see this build running an indirect firing missile support weapon instead. What about ATMs? It's just some raw damage coming from ATMs instead of the lasers. Okay, here's the thing. We need to quickly check that out, guys. Let's do a little bit of mix and match here. That would require us to not take all of the double heat sinks that we have. And the remaining tonnage is ammo. Two ATM sixes seems like a good idea, actually. We don't need that exchanger, right? No, we don't. Yeah, even in a hot biome, I think this is going to be absolutely fine. Let's make it more indirect. And uh, honestly, I would rather have um, LRMC instead of ATMs. Honestly, two LRM-15 would be absolutely fine. That would be my sweet spot, so we probably want to find some. But right now, as it stands, we don't have them, so might as well use some ATMs for the moment. And we have one bit of ATM ammo, one bit of ER. That's perfectly fine. Should probably take another ER, right? That's 60 shots. It's 10 alpha strikes, so we have... Um, 10 per launcher. We have, you know, 10 alpha strikes total. Let's give this 15 alpha strikes and we are done. This is it, guys. Technically, we have, you know, half a ton if we go a little bit lower on front. Actually, back armor. That's a full ton. Like that. And with the last ton, what are we taking? Also, by the way, no specialist slot open yet. And I want the long ton that we had before. The uh, one-shot long term Problem is we need hands to carry that thing. Sadly, we don't have hands yet. We need arms for it first. Um, in that case, I think we're going to take a flare AMS and maybe another flare AMS because, again, it's nothing that we want here. A UAV is sometimes helpful. A jump booster, maybe? Just to give it a little bit of jump capacity. It's very little, though. And two is not enough. No, a jump booster alone is not helpful. It is a booster all of, I mean, after all, it's not uh, a single, you know, jump jet that makes your mech super jump capable. No, I think I'm gonna not use it. I will go for the moment. No support systems either. I'm gonna go with... Ooh, uh, rockets? Bolt-on rockets 20 times 3. We can carry those. Sure, why not? I mean, this is a long-range mech that has now some short-range capacity to defend itself if it needs to. I like this a lot. And um, a thing that we did have in the Banshee was multi-track. So we should probably try to get that back, right? But I think it was just a raw fire control system multi-track that we put in there. Yeah, yeah, and we don't need anything back. Actually, do we? Now that we have the ATMs, do we need a proper fire control system like a Predator? That could be a thing. We could take the Scatter... But, yeah, yeah, it's okay. With multi-track and scatter, it would be a nice idea. Let me take a look at my battle computers before we go. She gives us offensive push accuracy, negative multiplier to jam. Not really what we want. We have no battle computer multi-track anyway, so that is it. Alrighty, so in that case, we will take... Would love to take an interface cockpit, honestly, to get higher evasion. But again, gyro is already in the mech. Nothing that we can do there. This mech doesn't need much, honestly. Vehicular DNI. That would be a lot. More accuracy at ranges, negative one recoil, pilot injury and shutdown, more initiative, more maximum evasion. But it also, I wanted to say it takes the, takes the, uh, the uh, what's it called, gyro slot, but it instead takes the, the god, I cannot talk, the multi-track away. Holy shit. So I don't think I want to get rid of that. We'll just take a, whatever, sniper sensor, powered sensor. Sure, I'll take the powered sensor here. And in terms of cockpit, I will take... Oh, I could take small advanced to squeeze in another ton. Sure, why not? Why the hell not? I want to keep the good stuff, by the way, for another build that I have in mind for the other King Crab. So bear with me. I think this is going to be a small advance. Now we have two more tons. 
Question is, what, what, what are we going to do with it? Let me see. Is there anything we could add? There's an ATM-3 that we have. Let's get more ATMs on this thing. Sure, why not? And then we have half a ton for something. Maybe some kind of internal system that helps us. Patchwork. Nah, not going to happen. This is one ton. Uh, 0 0.75. I am thinking that this could be exactly what we need in case in case we want to cool. We can also just add the emergency coolant system. Yeah, that's fine. Is that a proto double heat sink kit even? Maybe it's that's Maybe that's a double heat sink. That cools us more. Correct. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do exactly that. And then we don't even need that emergency coolant system. And we still have half a ton left over. Alright, let's keep going, guys. There is something that we have to put in the mag. A hatchet, no. Uh, spike fist, no. Talons, no. Gyros, no. Industrial TSM is interesting. A mask to make the mech faster. I can see this thing actually running a light active pro, but we have the power sensors already that gives us that. I'm gonna do it anyway, because it counters ECM, which is nice. And in terms of sensor, we're gonna take the sniper sensor? I don't know. The clan sensor? Sure, why not adjust a regular clan sensor? Searchlight. This guy is not even getting close to any enemies. Sensor detection within 150 meters. No, not gonna happen. By the way, we still have a VR pod that is not in use. Alright guys, we have a build on this little guy here. This is actually a quite big guy. Uh, we still have the longbow open. I think I wanted to do something with the longbow. And I wanted to take the tinder wolf and replace the build here. But we also have a bunch of parts of the Yermungandr now, which is the better longbow. Just better. I think I'm gonna keep my Tinder Wolf for the moment. Maybe we're gonna even drop the uh, longboard to get some money later. Anyway, guys, we have it settled. Let's get ahead and... Where is the Proteus? Actually, only two days. It's insane, guys. Absolutely freaking insane. Cool. So, we're gonna wait on this planet. Let's go ahead and play the first mission of the day. And I wanna see how my new Mortar Mech works. We have a solid 122,000. All right. All right, all right, all right. And I need to figure out where my uh, virtual reality virtual reality pod needs to go. So let's check that out real quick. Definitely not on a stalker. You have a sheath beacon. Uh, you always get those misfires. That's so annoying. But I think it's okay to have. I like those hyper lasers. They're really good. All right, anyway. Let's go. Repair those. Cool, cool, cool. I want to check my, my dude guy here. Do you have a VR... Uh, you're running a sheath beacon currently. Now, that's interesting. That sheath beacon kind of acts as an EWS. Um, we can take it out, give you a VR prod for even more evasion. But I don't think it works with hot seat cockpit, correct? Uh, let's see, it's a sensor. It's the VR pod. It does not work with that. We need d direct neural interface, so we need something like a DNI or enhanced imaging in order to make that work. So you gotta keep your thing. Where do we put it? I mean, you are running a VR. I really wanna get rid of the Juggernaut at some point. You're running Rangefinder, Sheath Beacon. Enhanced Imaging here. Now that's interesting. So we could, could get Grandpa a lot of evasion. That would require us to take the powered sensors out though. Let's see, let's quickly compare them before we go. So the VR pod gives you plus one initiative, plus two max evasion, plus two evasion gain from movement, plus two to sensor detection anyway. I think that's a thing that we can go for. I do believe so. Giving that guy a little bit more evasion is a good idea. Let's do it. All right. Also, uh, IFF jammer. I, I don't know if that thing ever is, is, is valuable. He's running a supercharger as his uh, speedy upgrade. And he's running uh, no advanced optics currently. Oh my god, Grandpa, what's going on with you? Let's give you some optics here. Your old man, your old eyes cannot see properly. Let's do it again. I think I plucked him out to build some other things, but now we have them already. That's, or again. What are you running here? Exchanger and jump booster, that's kind of needed. That's pretty good. Urban Lord is running also jump boosters. Exchanger and stealth. I'm gonna give you some optics as well, I think. I don't think that the stealth is that interesting. Let's make you a little bit more... 
accurate. Yes. Okay. So again, a lot of a little bit of um, more shifting around things. But I wanna I wanna try the builds now. Let's go. Let's play the first mission of the day. Come on, Center. We need some money to actually build the Rock 10 build. I have uh, sketched it out already, and it's kind of five to six million sea builds that we need. So we better get some missions going here. Destroy base in the Highlands. Ooh, that's an assassination in the Highlands. I like that. Let's go for it. Let's take the one with more money. That's a recovery in the Highlands. That's better. Yeah, because it's faster. So I'll, I'll take still all the salvage. I know, I'm that guy. <laughs> and I hope I get some good random stuff here. So, uh, we have all the people here and... Oh god, yeah, we need to get the Proteus in. And we need somebody who wants to play that thing a bunch. What about you? Actually, I want Tinker, because I want Santa Lock on the board as much as possible. That's pretty good. Can we? And that's the question. Bring the Marauder. You were the Marauder. No, you were Irby Pilot. Banshee. And uh, you are a carrier pilot. All right, let's get more of your men. Oh, wait, there's XO. Nah, that's fine. All right, so we're gonna bring more of your men. And we have 330 ton limit. Pretty good. Let's go, guys. Let's drop. Another thing that I wanted to do, and we should probably do it, is to rebuild the Marauder as a overheat mech. That's gonna be the next build in line. I don't know for how long we're gonna keep that thing, but it generates a crazy amount of evasion, is very mobile, is able to intercept quickly, and I, I like it. So, it is not really dealing so much damage, but it is a very, uh, you know, a good tactical weapon instead of like a raw damage weapon. Being able to shut down mechs and overheat them is uh, really crucial for the late game. So, sometimes you cannot go for those super heavies in one blow, you cannot destroy them in one blow, and therefore containment is in order. And we're gonna use the Marauder for that, I think. Again, it's super fast, it has some great upgrades, and uh, I'm thinking about double plasma. Does it have three or two energy hard points? Because the ideal way to build that is clan plasma, a pirate plasma, a TS EMP, and then uh, an MRM with Inferno missiles loaded. And then just go nuts on that thing. Just get all the heat on the mech and then make it so that he has very impaired cooling and he builds up more heat than he would normally do with his weapons. And that's coming from the from the plasma and the TSEMP together. And that's, uh, that's a good build. You completely shut down the mech and then just the, the raw amount of heat that you build up on him with the MRMs. I wanted to do that, really. But hey, let's go! Quite a low ground drop here. Interesting. Huh? So we can drop pretty much anywhere except close to the base. That's good. I like that. Alright, we're gonna scatter a bit. I could have manually dropped those people to be in the forest. That would have been a little bit more optimal. But I just wanted to get right, done with it now. This mission doesn't seem Time that scary, to be honest. But hey, let's see. There they are. Alright, I will move like that. Tinderwolf. I see another thing. That's a Highlander, right? Seems to be a Highlander. And it is. Alright, cool. So, Tinderwolf is going to jumpity jump. I want to jump for four, ideally. But I don't want to be so clustered. Here's the Juggernaut. You have a supercharger, buddy. You better use that thing and get into the forest. Confirmed. The Martyr is going to sprint, setting up there. Here's my Ifrit. Let's go. On my way. The Proteo is sadly turning the other way around, otherwise we could have also dropped mines already. But hey, let's go into the forest here. And of course, the Marauder for a sexy 7 evasion. I love that. Alright, let's go. Good to go. Those guys have their... No, they don't have that. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. That means we're gonna enable the jump booster, the jet booster. And we're gonna attack that guy. Perfect. So, I want to drop all the Infernos. We're gonna not drop the mines, though. Here we go. I copy. Big AMS coming from the other side. We have a head hit, which is My amazing. Is nice. All right. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? All right, Grandpa. Use your enhanced imaging. And by the way, we get four 
evasion out of that sprint through the forest. Thanks to the virtual reality part. So this guy, uh, the tank in the back is running a light gauss rifle. I don't care about that. I just want to get the panther out of this. And, by the way, uh, the accuracy. Sometimes you just gotta admire it, right? Ready for orders. Alright, here's the matter. The matter is gonna use his D&I. Alright. We cannot get 8 evasion here, but 7 is fine. And here come the micro missiles. We only have Infernos and Tandem right now. Which is okay. I think I'm just gonna shoot that guy to pieces. Let's go for it. Got some damage. Receiving you. Gladiator is gonna move over to the right. I think this is the guy that's also trying to get into the target zone there. I think we could... Yeah, we are not able to get there yet. However, we have a combat shotgun that might rip him apart. Let's go. Kill? No. Alright. So Tinderwolf is gonna do it. Tinderwolf is gonna jump. Um. Hmm. Can we go LK here? Not really. No. So I guess it's gonna be... The Tonk? No, the Tonk is also not great. It's also, again, just running a Light Gauss, so no big deal. Shred him. I mean, it's a Panther. Come on. There we go. Invested three Alpha Strikes, one of them being just a shotgun, but... Holy crap. Orders. Anyway, here comes the Juggernaut. Yes, let's push. Push, push, push. AMS Mark II is gonna get overloaded. We're gonna shoot eight times with that. Fire. This guy is having a good amount of armor. What's up, boss? Here comes a Proteus. I would say my idea here is to just melt the armor away. Let's do it. Let's go with acid completely. The thing is, we only have 20 acid shots, which means uh, our 24 tubes will not shoot all of the acid. But it's it's fine, I think, at this point. Let's just go with that. Got it. So as it is empty, we were not shooting all of the damage capacity that we could have gotten. Also, that AMS is amazing on the left side. I should respect my enemies. Seriously. Here's the Vedette. Actually hitting us with the Light Gauss. Not bad. Standing by. Hmm. Alright, I can sprint, and I think that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's use enhanced imaging. Let's shoot everything, and maybe kill? That is not a kill. Although we got acid on the guy, which is a pretty big damage increase. Alright, let's see what they come with. Uh, okay. Okay. It doesn't stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy Reporting crap! 90 missiles! Oh my god, what is that Wraith? Holy shit! Alright, alright, I'm pretty happy that everything is on fire here, which kind of really obstructs his vision. But holy crap, Aroni, what was that Wraith? I don't want to be here anymore. I'm gonna get out of this. Whoa! I hope there are no other surprise enemies somewhere. That was insane! I'm gonna not drop any mines. I will I will just I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna sensor lock the wraith. I don't see it anymore. Crap. No, oh, okay. Never mind. No. Right, we're gonna try to get the Vedette oh, down God, here. I was sleeping. What do you want? Holy crap! Holy crap. And that's why I like to have some medium lasers on top of those indirect firing builds. It's really nice. Alright, so Highlander is down. What's next? Yes, Commander. LRMs. Those LRMs are also gonna go to the Vedette here. Let's go. Because the Wraith on the other side, it definitely had all the AMS in the world. Solid connection on that one. Standing by. Yeah, let's go. Let us go. I can only charge this guy. Yeah, I better get into a good position afterwards, like here in the forest. Kind of facing that direction. And I think it's gonna be a kill here. Let's do it. I'm so happy about that AMS, by the way. That saved our Ifrit. Definitely. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Move her down. What's next? Ready to get it on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me try to 
get line of sight to the guy again, but we don't get it. Holy crap. So at this point, we're going Inferno because we also need to think about our salvage. Ah, got an ammo explosion on the side torso. Alright. I tried to get some crits here. The Juggernaut. Mm-hmm. Fine. There he is again! Ah. We cannot really... I mean, we can ping him with our EWS ping. Maybe that's worth it. Yeah. Got a lock. Mr. Stealthy guy is not stealthy anymore, so we can actually attack him. But we need Lana side. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is just a no-brainer. Let's go in. I'm not even shooting the hyper lasers. For the sake of not jamming them, not having any repair cost. Okay, Proteus. Can you do it? You can, actually. You know, we're gonna stand and shoot this. Sure. Um, he's running Meteor. Whatever Meteor is. And then MRM40 times 2. The question is, do we drop mortars, like guided mines on him? Or guided missile mortars on him? Or do we drop mines? I think it is about raw damage here. Why not both? Why not both? So I wanted to set everything on fire around him for his uh, vision to be obstructed and his uh, accuracy going down. Let's see. Those meteor things are crazy. Oh, Tinker got hit. No, Tinker, why? Don't get hit. Oh, God, I was sleeping. Don't die, what Tinker. Do I need to get my hands on those. I have no idea what, what's that about, but let's wreck him. Which is not enough. Yes, Commander. Okay. Are we going all in? I think we will. Affirmative. Yeah, we're gonna drop all the bombs, all the mines that we have here. And of course, all the missiles as well. Fire! And we got him. That was crazy. Vehicle down. Can I can I get the things? I'm out of short range missiles. I, I want to have those things. So there are no reinforcements on this mission. This is why I love them. Let's not do anything here. Taking a protective stance. Get in here. And we're gonna go home. Okay, everybody just brace at this point. Huh? What's going on? Yes, Commander. Brace. Hey there. Brace. And brace. And we are done. Pretty fast mission. Um, that was good. That was really, really good. Let's take a look around. What we can actually salvage here. It was not too much money that we will get out of this here because we only saw one mech. Uh, actually, two mechs, but just a Highlander. Yeah, we na made negative money. You want two parts of a Wraith, one part of a Highlander, and the Vedette, and we get more engine cores, double heat sinks, Apollo MRM ammo, and Angel ECM. Angel ECM is a thing that I want on every mech later. Um, that might be the moment where we pick all Angel ECM. Because it not only shields yourself, but it also helps your friends. So you will get one ECM shield on surrounding uh, friendlies. And if everybody has that, you have your own shield, plus every Angel ECM around you will give you one more. That stacks really high. I want that. But I want the Wraith for money. And I want to take a look at the other things. So I'm gonna refuse. Ow. Two parts of a Wraith. That's definitely a thing that we're gonna pick here. Because... Yeah, the thing is gonna be worth like a million Seabills or so. I don't know. I've never seen a Wraith, but I think it's worth a lot. So let's take that. And then the Meteor. What is a Meteor? Let me see. It's 20 shots. Two ST. What is ST? Let me see. Weapon carries internal ammo. Two damage dealt directly to internals. Ah, okay. Uh, accuracy against VTOL, blah blah. Streak launcher, interesting. Fires a salvo of 10 unguided rockets. Internal ammo storage, explode. One shot, volatile. Alright. So it was the MRM 40s that. Yeah, that hit us so often. They shot 90 missiles. It's both of the 40s and then one meteor earlier. So that is what hit us. That is it. We definitely take one Angel ECM, and this is what I'm talking about. 
It says it provides an aura uh, with pass uh, when active, provides effect for carrier when passive. It says active ECM jams enemies for five, reduces jamming on ally by fours, and uh, protects the carrier with a shield of two, reduces enemy jamming by two, and then passive provides the carrier with ECM shield of five and reduces enemy jamming by five. And I think this is always active and passive, right? Give me a second. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong here. <laughs> so you want that in active mode all the time. We have a shield of two. Text a carrier with a shield of two. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Angel ECM is not the thing that I'm looking for. I need to read up on that again. Maybe they changed it. I was kind of based on wrong information here. Anyway, I'm gonna take it. I will take that double XL engine. That's massive amount of money. So we have NSS PPC capacitator. There was some good stuff in here. I like that. I like that. Acid MRM ammo. We have zero incendiaries. If we want to go down the MRM path, I should really take the ammo. So no angel for me. I will take this for the build that I had in mind. Let's go with that. Sure. Acid is fantastic, but we have a bin already. Tandem is fantastic. But I hope that we get it randomly. And then there's Apollo as well. Alright, let's do it. We get a part of a Highlander. Not bad. Advanced AMS, Meteor, Angel ECM, Composite, Fusion Core, Engine. I will sell all of that already, so we get some money again. We have two of these XXL engines. I'm gonna get rid of one, so... Goodbye. And hello, 800,000 C builds. Beautiful. A soul jump jet is a thing that we also need at some point. PPC capacitator is amazing, but we have one, so we'll sell this. Recon sensor is pretty good. And we get incendiary and caseless AMS ammo. Beautiful. I'll sell Pharaoh. We don't need it right now. We also have too much composite, so it's fine. And I do believe I will sell the Meteor. It's not really worth it. It's one ton, one slot. 20 missiles, through armor, streak, but uh, it's the best rocket that I've seen so far, but it's still a rocket. No, let's go. Cool, guys. Um, let's continue. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can get out of the Wraith money-wise. Maybe we can actually start the build of our Proteus today. Uh, not the Proteus, but the Kraken, because I want to make that Rock 10 build happen. We also need upgrades on the Argo in order to upgrade our drop tonnage so that we can actually run out of those. But I think we can just replace the Juggernaut with a Kraken. That would be a major upgrade. We'll see about that. Let's take a look. First of all, we're coming back here. And it's only two days of repairs. This is so good. I want to go ahead and I want to take a look at the mech bay again. Bear with me, guys. So, you got crit again? Oh my god. Dude. I know, guys. I know what you're saying. I can already see the comment section kind of overflowing with Get rid of the hyperlasers! They're still pretty good. I mean, damage-wise, they are. I don't mind the repair costs afterwards. It's okay. It's fine. Let's take a look at this guy here. Mm, currently, we are running those micro-missiles, and it, in fact, only has a two... No, it has three energy hard points, which is super interesting. But we are running DNI, which kind of prevents us the, the head hard point. Now, that's a bit of a problem. Anyway... So I'm gonna quickly check this here. I'm gonna drop those, and I wanna have... Where is it? Plasma Clan, Plasma Pirate. Whew. And the Plasma Clan gives us increased target heat generation by 30%. Amazing. And this one gives us a bonus to overheating targets, increases target heat generation by 15%, and is area of effect. Ooh. Okay. Seems like we have no TSEMP right now. I don't see it. I thought I had one. But what I do have is an MRM-40 that we can slap on this mech. Which is a little bit too much. Certainly. Well then. I mean, we can play it just like that. And then the rest is ammo. That's uh, possible. MRM-40, negative one accuracy. What do we do in terms of ammo? He's running the flag fire control system for negative recoil and plus evasion ignore. Evasion ignore is actually quite good on this guy. He's kind of a hunter. He's like, yo, you're not, not getting away from me. Your evasion means nothing to me. I'm gonna hunt you down and I'm gonna overheat you. We also have acid, which is amazing for damage. And then there's a double bin. Maybe we don't need that much. I mean, this is 200 shots. It's, it's five alpha strikes. This makes it 10. Hmm, interesting. I don't want the double bin. It's too much then. 
I'm overloading ammo. It's, it's not great. We have ammo plasma and ammo plasma double. That should be enough for a single... Yeah! Whoa. Maybe that's enough already. I mean, 10 shots. How much do we need? No, I really want the second plasma again. Can we go for it? That's the question. Pirate plasma? 5 tons too much. Why is it so heavy? This is 10 tons. This is only 3. I mean, seriously. It's a pirate weapon. That's it. Has a misfire chance, by the way. The area of effect is what makes the, uh, the, the gun interesting. But I like this overheat by 30%. Now, what we need is a TS EMP. And put that in here. That's right. Anyway, since it doesn't work yet... What are we doing with this beauty? Are we doing anything even? Anything at all? I mean, I could add a hotshot flamer. The mech is fast enough to get in there. 20% bonus against overheating targets. It's just a little bit of heat, but that's not great, honestly. No, no, no. So we are not doing it. We're going to leave it as it is for the moment. But we made some progress here. So instead, what we're going to be doing now is uh, we have, you know, 25 days. I will quickly take a look at this here. And I will, I will give it an XL upgrade if that's possible already. Let's see. I want a clan XL on this. It's 4 million, so it's the heaviest part of this. So the idea is to start the work on it already. I think it will always be composite. But I cannot be sure. Damn it. I don't know which which engine, which anything, and it's only one day, so it doesn't... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter adding weapons or anything to the mech yet. Actually, one thing. AC-10 or Rotary Auto Cannon 10 Risk. That's a thing we can do because it just takes six days and, uh, you know, we can start the build on it. We just, uh, we don't have the money yet, but we have the time, so we're gonna prioritize time. Put that to the front line here. Alrighty, guys. So, I hope that we can play another hashtag quick mission and uh, make a double today. Tinker is out of action, that's unfortunate. Anyway, here we go. Command center, let's play another recovery. It's urban, but I like the recovery missions because they are so easy. That's a dual duel. You know what? We're gonna play a dual duel. That's exactly it. We'll take all the salvage, by the way. Or do we? We're not really looking for anything in particular. We need money to outfit our max. So let's take the 600 and then the one out of four. And we will take the gladiator. Sure, we'll take the Gladiator because, you know, we're playing a duel. Gladiator makes sense here. And I think I'll take the Martar as well. Or the Stalker. Stalker is getting real evasive and is very accurate. Alright, it's you two. Let's do it. Let's think about our defense more than our offense right now because I think the offense is okay, it's fine. We just need to get to close range with the Gladiator, we are good. Um, but what I do not want is that my mechs are getting kind of beaten down. With the virtual reality pod on the Stalker now, this is okay. We have, as you could see earlier, four evasion, which is really good for a small arena like that. And if we get to sprint even, and uh, are not in cover, then I think we might squeeze out a little bit more even. Let's go with that. I need an EMP. As soon as we get the EMP, we can make that overheat build happen. It's gonna be really good. So, again, EMP to prevent cooling and movement, and... Uh, the plasma to extend the heat of the regular weapons and then the missiles for raw heat on the mech. That'll shut him down. That we can just pick one mech and just say, you're out of the game. For two rounds. Alrighty, let's go. Hashtag quick mission. This planet looks nice. Let's burn it down. <laughs> let's burn it down. Alright, what do we see? An Annihilator and a Zeus. X. Ah, hello. I want five evasion, but I also want cover. I'm gonna use my supercharger here. Uh-huh. So we get five evasion if we go there. Only four here. This is also five. All right. We have a good spot. Hello. Hello, Annie. Don't kill us. Heavy MRM-20, snub nose, LB-10, laser AMS, okay. That is a ballistic annihilator. Oh my god. I need to overheat Annie somehow. Oh god, I was sleeping. What do you want? Eek. I don't want to. 
All right, let's drop some thermals here. Him up, him down, just like Bella Woods. I really hope that did something. And then we're going to move out afterwards. I need four evasion. We only get three wherever we go. I think cover is important. I will pull back. You're asking okay, Gramps. Don't die. You don't shoot? It's a freaking Rockzilla! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Receiving you. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. What are we doing here? Are we gonna sprint? On it. But he is hot. That's good news. Uh what what wait, wait, wait. If he's hot, does he take damage from overheating? Is he running some enhanced imaging or so? Let's see. Engaging with target. Maybe we can kill the pilot here. Oh boy. Oh god, I was sleeping. What do you want? I will sprint for five. I will go for another overheat attempt because we cannot easily kill this dude. Not at all, but that's a lot of heat. Okay. That is a lot of heat. So, buddy. Yeah, hit chance is really bad. It's actually 80%, so we'll take that. Let's go berserk before we do anything else. Punch attack, 85. Lots of damage. Let's go. Take that guy. Yes, please. Out of the field. It's not a kill. Not quite. Any shut down. Thank you. Holy crap. That was so important. And that's actually pretty good. No, it's not. Oh god, we got hit on the head. <gasps> Ooh, retaliation. Grandpa has pretty low any now. That's bad. Don't you dare kill that old guy. Oh god, they're, they're shooting me and I'm standing by. Okay, we're fine. Punch attack. Aye, aye. Can we do it? <laughs> no, it's a miss. Oh no, we needed that hit. Stop. That was so important. That was such an important attack. Yeah, and he's powered up again. All right, old man, get back in cover. Let's go vigilant. All right. I cannot take cover properly. I put my mech in front of the other mech. Alright, I'm gonna do it like this. Do we want the supercharger? I think I don't want to use the supercharger this round. So I'm quickly gonna check. We can move afterwards like that. Alright, that's fine. So we will shoot first with everything we have. I'm gonna press all the buttons and you can't stop me. It's not a kill. We got a crit on the engine, but that's it. Broke him like my hell. And then we're gonna move away from that. All right. We don't have any. No. It's going to go for the gladiator, though. <laughs> what a duel. I love it. It is really dangerous. He might have killed himself. I can use the supercharger again. That's pretty good. I like that. And we're going to shoot that guy again. He's not dead. All right. Pull back. Old man, pull back. You're asking a lot of an old guy. So if we don't hit the charge here, we have a huge problem. Maybe we are not charging. I mean, this guy still has a lot of heat. We'll wait for it. Holding for the right opportunity. He's not able to move far. Oh, but he's going all in. Okay. Okay. Oh god, they're, they're shooting me and I'm ready for orders. Ah oh man, I gotta do it, guys. I gotta do it. I have to try again to hit that dude in the face. Come on. on for physical attack. And he has very low any next round. That is okay. Woo! Down he goes. They bring a freaking Rockzilla to that. <laughs> this is amazing. Tango. Okay. Oh god, I was sleeping. And that's, what that's what I was hoping for. Let's go with more thermo. Pretty good. No more missiles. Oh no, I guess I gotta use the bees. Move backwards. You're asking a lot Range is your best guy. friend right now, Grandpa. Hey, he didn't attack. That's pretty good. Alright, at this point we got it. Punch him! Let's go! Confirmed. Oof. I think we got it. Alright, center punch. We hit the head once. But that's it. 
God, I was sleeping. So what again with the thermal oh and thunder combination. Alright, like we got something done. Yo. No that guy is no, no, on the ground. We got the knockdown. We he lost half of his weapons, half half of his mech. Yeah, I know that you take heavy hits, but that was a calculated risk that I was taking, man. So can we punch from any point? No, we have to do a kick attack. Nah, that's unfortunate. I guess I'm gonna wait for it. I copy. Do I? I mean, kicking doesn't do anything. Kick damage is 100. That's not gonna be enough to deal significant damage. It also will attack the leg. I'm gonna reserve this until he's standing up again Sterling so I can give him a pond. Let's see. I have 5 evasion. Should be fine. Also, he lost all the weapons and is super hot. Has lots of injuries. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go from here. Punch. Let's go. Confirmed. Should have checked that, by the way. Don't blow up. Don't blow up, Mr. Hot Seat Gladiator. Nope. It's fine. Ooh. Okay. We made it. We took a bit of damage. And a head hit. That was not good. But we survived. We're gonna get some a great salvage out of that. And uh, some money, of course. So this is a, a real good thing to have. Let's take a look. 500,000 solid sea bills. Yeah, the repair cost will be like 200. You want to get a Zeus and an Annihilator part? I will get Weapon Mount Recoil. Huh. Do I care about the Annie? I think I do. I like those Weapon Mounts. We'll accept that. So, here we go. Heavy Ruck to Risk. Heavy MRM, lots of laser AMS, medium expulse lasers. That's a big loot table, but that's an upper recoil. It's not a plus upper recoil. Weapon mount recoil, though. I like that. Negative two, plus one accuracy with arm mounted weapons. I'll take one of them, and I hope that I get another one. So I can use it on my Kraken later. That's a very good amount of good ammo. Ah, only one. But acid heavy MRM ammo, and we have a heavy MRM, MRM 20. That could be a thing to use. We'll see about that. Holy macaroni, guys. We made two missions happen today. And we built a new mech. And I like it. It didn't really shine yet, the Proteus with the mortars. But we're gonna figure it out in the next episode of Rogue Take. If you like this one, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.